All right, this is my Panagraph. Um, I just bought it. Uh, you can get them on eBay. They're not that expensive. Most people have never seen one, but they're pretty neat. Uh, so it's got a, a cutting torch down here, right there, and uh, you know gauges and stuff to make it happen. And then it's got a little magnet right here, and then you just cut out whatever you want on piece of three sixteenths mild steel plate, and then it it just runs that magnet all the way around it. So we'll turn it on real fast. No gas going, but you kind of get the point. It just kind of follows its happy ass little way around the uh, the pattern there. But just kind of follows its way around the pattern and cuts it right out. So you, you got uh, stop. You got a forward and reverse. So you can turn it the other way, and then you got your speed dial here. And slow it down or speed it up. Okay. So we'll get it fired up and we'll start cutting some pieces. Uh, cutting some pieces for a high lift tailgate. Uh, I got a whole bunch of parts down here on the ground that I've been cutting out all day. Um, so I'll put you in the vise and show you what I got. So now that we got it started, we're just going to uh, preheat the part. So I'm cutting some uh, quarter inch T1. Uh, you can really see that the mill scale is now well, probably not on the camera, but the mill scale is popping off on the first uh, little go around, kind of a nice preheat. Uh, I have the uh, the blue cones set off the uh, top of the plate about oh a nickel's height, so. We'll get that all figured, all nice and warm, and then we'll start our cut. Couple of the wrong levers, it's still pretty new to me. So we'll get you up close and personal with this here. So you can see that's where we had our little hiccup and our start and stop. Um, I didn't have it quite hot enough. I had been cutting on this, so I wasn't too worried about it, and I was moving kind of fast. But uh, the finish on this is not terrible. Um, this is the side that was real thin. So, I mean, it did a really good job 
on this side. I'll probably just knock it off with a flap wheel and this will be done. So, and then uh, very, very little um, dross or slag or whatever you want to call it on the back. Uh, it makes the cleaning really, really easy and fast. Uh, here's some other parts that I've been doing. These are some hinges for the dump truck. Got a half inch AR plate. Got some of those. And then I'm building a brush rake for my dozer. And so uh, this is kind of what they look like once I've got them all cut out and polished up. Uh, there's very little, uh, very little torch marks in there. I mean, don't mind my bad welds, but uh, I just cut everything with it now. I mean, this this was that half inch AR plate, same as the hinges. So I just weld that on there, and I cut the arms out for the top of the brush rake. So I'll show you that tomorrow, maybe. Uh, that's all I got. So anyway, this is my pantograph. I think it's pretty neat. Um, just runs on oxycetylene. You can run propane in it if you want. Uh, eventually, I'll get it hooked up to uh, that there plasma cutter. But for now, I'm cutting thick stuff. So, all right. Thanks for watching.